guys, we are heading down to the southern side of Wilmington in an area called Monkey Junction. It's actually the area between Monkey Junction and Carolina Beach. I'm heading down to take a look at a unit that I helped install in 2009, I think it was. Uh, Goodman unit, so they said it's running all the time and the air is just not hot. So we can check things like low charge, loss of heat strips. We'll see what's happening. Here's our Goodman in question from the 2009 area, R410A. You see the ice bands on it. The other one's running as well. There's no ice bands on it. So we'll check and see if there is a defrost issue or a low refrigerant issue. Guys, I'm getting the eye manifold hooked up. I have the true suction on the heat charging port. We have the high pressure on the liquid side there. Eye manifold set up and turned on. I'm gonna take a look at the screen. Right now I have the temperature probes inside just to make sure the strip heat is coming on, just to make sure there's a little bit of differential in the return to the supply. As you can see, there is a 24 degree differential, so the heat strips are working. I do believe it's 5 kW, so we're going to see how the machine performs when it turns on. That's the other one. Alright guys, so we're looking inside the heat pump there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So right around there. See the frosted up lines. The frost is pretty heavy and pretty quick. You see the high manifold pressure is low. 45 pounds on R410A would be an extremely cold temperature and we are in the 40s today, so that is definitely doesn't drive. Guys, we're taking on the defrost control as well. I'm making sure that final red wire right over here on this side here has 24 volts because that would mean that the switch is closed and the coil is cold enough to start the defrost timer. Right now it is not closing, so we may have a defective defrost thermostat as well. We are in the crawl space. I'm looking at the back of an aluminum coil. definitely leaks where the orifice fitting is at. It also oh, it leaks right there. And also we go down the coil a little bit. It's actually hitting off a little bit down here as well. Can't really see that very well. It goes off there. So it is leaking there at least to a small degree. But you bring it up here. Yeah, he's a leaker. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that dryer vent is pouring lint onto the side of the unit. You can kind of see it just glumming onto it. The back side's pretty dirty. So this is the leaker. You have to replace a coil. The second time looks like this aluminum coil that was a replacement for the copper coil. Just a big mess. 